pride that I am invited here to uh, take part in this opening of this um, facility here for the RSL. Some 60 years ago, we um, were looking at doing a pro project of this nature and um, um, in seeking of funds, we thought that it would be a good idea to try and uh, include as many other groups from within the community that might make this a facility that's uh, a benefit to, to more than just a football club. And with that in mind, we then approached the RSL, who uh, were um, um, a declining group, as we know, and thought that there might be an opportunity for them to um, refresh, if you like, or bring them in touch with more with uh, the local community. And of course, it was a factor in uh, when seeking funds that it would give us a little bit more leverage um, to apply to those various organisations for that type of um, benefit. And as, a, as the, the program uh, evolved over the three year period, we managed to come up with uh, around about, uh, I don't know, just uh, short of uh, $2 million. And that was uh, encompassing a loan from um, local um, private people who, uh, through their generosity and confidence in what we were doing, loaned us four hundred thousand dollars. Now that's a, uh, a legacy, the not a legacy, but a, um, a project of the football club in particular. Now I have a plan to play back over a period of ten years. So it just further demonstrates the support of the community and the uh, trust that the community has put in the Sredown Football Club in particular uh, and also the confidence from the RSL and other bodies to support it. So I think that on its own is a marvellous um, um, credit to the people of Sredown and in particular the, the volunteers that uh, over the period of a three year build we've managed to uh, complete this um, uh, project that will now, I think, service the community for 30 or 40 years ahead. 